Hello, my name is Sam. I'm from usephotoshop.com, a free tutorial, template, and photo resource. In this video, I'm going to help you understand the ruler tool in Adobe Photoshop. I'm running the most current version at this time, Photoshop CS5. The purpose of the ruler tool is to measure a distance between uh, two parts of an image or two parts of an object in Photoshop. If you don't already have an image open, go to File, New to create a new file, or go to File, Open to open a file from your hard drive. I'm using this picture of a castle. The tool can be found by going to Window, Tools, and you will see the Tools window or the Tools palette up here. It's third from the top on the right and it may be hiding behind the eyedropper tool, the color sampler tool, the notes tool, or the counts tool. It's a third from the top, the ruler tool. You should note that the keyboard shortcut for the ruler tool is I, meaning if I'm using another tool and I want to use the ruler tool simply by hitting the letter I on my keyboard, I will be taken back to the ruler tool. This is how it works. By clicking and dragging, you can measure a point, or you can measure the distance between two points, say the points between these two parts of the castle. You will see that the information is displayed up here, and then it can also display in another window by going to Window, Info, or by pressing F8 on your keyboard. And you will see over here we have additional information about the selection we're making. And you can see as I move the selection, the orientation of it, the slope of it, and the size of it, all these values change in these windows here and here. If you want to measure something absolutely straight or on a 45 degree angle, simply by holding shift before you click, it will keep your selection at 45 degree angle increments, which is very handy. So that's the ruler tool in Adobe Photoshop. I'm Sam from usephotoshop.com.